all right? So for this problem, even if I didn't know I should be using conservation of energy, I probably would use conservation of energy. Why? Because it's trying to ask for the speed when it gets to point B. Um, this is a little bit like the skateboarder. It's actually very much like the skateboarder sliding down. That was a pretty difficult problem. We, we summed our forces, got acceleration in terms of theta, had to take the integral of that, and that's what we would have to do on this one. But we know now that we can use conservation of energy. So two kilogram pendulum bob is released from rest uh, when it is at A. Uh, determine the speed of the bob and the tension in the cord when the bob passes through its lowest position, B. All right, so I'm using conservation of energy. V plus T plus any non-conserved work, such as a force, right, an external force that's being applied. And this V could be gravity or spring. All right, this V is potential energy, could be gravity or spring. All right, that's all the initials. So this, this is kind of at A, at A. This is the final at B, at B. This work right here, it's neither at A or at B. It's neither initial or final. The work is from initial to final, like over this distance. So work is not, don't try to think about the initial work or the final work. The work is throughout the problem, from beginning to end. <clears throat> All right, so this is what I kind of like to do. I, there's no spring in here on this problem, right? I probably should just go ahead and neglect it. It said something about it started from rest. You could go ahead and set that initial kinetic energy to zero. But if you like to, this is what I like to do. I don't know about you. I like to go ahead and, and write this whole thing, all of the terms that I could have. Now, this might take longer than... You know, if you, if you recognize, I don't have this, I don't have this. So this isn't necessary. <clears throat> but I like to just write MGH plus one-half KX squared plus one-half MV squared plus FD. Now, I'm going to put FD right here, but it's really integral FDS. Um, but it's FD if it's constant. Equals MGH final, one-half KX squared final, one-half MV squared. So I like to kind of get that long equation. That, that is my conservation of energy equation. So I, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm bad about, about going through these motions before I really read the problem and really what am I trying to find? What am I given? But if I know I'm going to use conservation of energy method for this problem, I like to go ahead and write that whole equation and then ask myself, okay, now, now I can break it up into like bite-sized pieces, right? A lot of these would be zero. All right, obviously uh, there's no spring, so there's no one half kx squared right here. Uh, it started from rest. Yeah, many, many of these problems will start from rest. So there's no um, kinetic energy initially. All right, what about this FD right here? So this is, Maybe a force that's drawn on the figure, just an external force that's being applied. Or maybe a cable, like that previous problem, a cable, a rope, a tension that is pulling a distance. Uh, there, is a, there is a rope in this problem. There is tension in this problem. But you see that that tension is never going in the direction of the displacement. That tension is not doing any work. That tension is not doing any work. Uh, so, so there's no sort of external force times distance for this problem, right? Tension is always this way, but the displacement is always perpendicular to it. What component of my tension is in the direction of my displacement, none of it, you know? None of it. <clears throat> All right, so my equation really boils down to MGH equals MGH plus one half MV squared. 
And so if you could go ahead and realize that, you could start with that MGH equals MGH plus one half MP squared. I like to start with the long equation and mark things through. It feels good to kind of put a big X through it, put a zero through it. Okay, so let's think about the MGH initial and the MGH final. For this MGH, you have to choose positive up, but you can choose your ground to be wherever you want to. Um, I think we've got two good options. I think we could choose that to be our ground, um, or we could choose, choose that to be our ground. Um, I, I'm going to use this green line to be our ground. So that means it starts at a height of zero, and it ends at a height of negative 1.5. It ends at a height of negative 1.5. All right, so left-hand side, we've actually got zero. Is that okay? Well, we'll see. We'll see. What, what was our other option? Let, let me just show how this would be the same. I think y'all can understand how this would be the same. If we chose pink to be our uh, height, our zero, then we would say it starts at uh, 1.5 and it ends at zero and see how – uh, mathematically, those are the same, right? 1.5 on the left or negative 1.5 on the right. Okay, so zero equals M, what is our M here? Two, 9.1, height of negative 1.5 plus one half M V squared. That, I mean, that, that really became a very simple equation. Yes? No, no. That is, it's not only really acceleration, it's just a G. All right? And we've already, def we've already defined it going down. So I already know it's going down. That MGH, that G is just the magnitude of G. So correct. Do not put, do not put, very important, do not put negative 9.81 right there. Okay? <laughs> All right, so I've got velocity is 5.42 meters per second, boxed it in. That was one of the things that it asked for, the speed. Now, it also asked for the tension in the cord. Where was tension in the cord in this equation? It, it, it was not in this equation. It was not in this equation. So I've got to come up with a, another way to find the tension besides conservation of energy. All right, so I say, that, I say that these problems are like conservation energy problems, but they might be conservation energy plus, I'm about to do a free body diagram to find that tension. So it might be conservation energy plus free body diagram. We'll do some that's like conservation energy, and then it becomes a projectile. So just because this is problem number three, just because this is a conservation energy problem, you still might use some of our other tools, but kind of the heart of that one uh, is that conservation energy. So let us, if, if we want to find the tension in the cord at B, let's draw this bob at B. And there's tension. What other forces are acting right here? Mg. All right. And I think those are the only forces right there. And let's sum the forces. All right. Tension minus 2. 9.81 equals uh, about to put equals zero. Uh, it really equals MA. Uh, and is it accelerating in this direction? Is it accelerating in this direction? Should I set this equal to zero? Do you, think, do you think the tension is just, what is this, 18.6, or what is that, 19 point? I'll give you a hand, it's, it's not. Is it accelerating this direction? Yeah, yeah, it is accelerating in this direction. Um, because it's in a circular path, don't forget about normal acceleration. 
Don't forget about normal acceleration. In fact, I probably, instead of summing the forces in Y, I should have said, if I sum the forces normal, you would have recognized that and realized that. Don't forget about normal acceleration when things are traveling in a circular path. So this is V squared over rho. Do I know V? Listen up. At this instant, 5.42. So at this instant, and this is the only the tension at this instant, it's changing because the velocity is changing and, and the, that free body diagram would change. Uh, tension would be equal to 58.9 newtons. 58.9 newtons. That, that's, that's larger than, what if, what if this uh, bob was just hanging, right? If the bob was just hanging, then yes, it's not accelerating. But when it has some velocity, it has normal acceleration into the curve. Okay? So step back and look. We, because it was, it's kind of asking for the speed, we use conservation of energy to find the velocity, and we use free body diagram to find the force in the cable. Forcing the tension of the cable. Okay, let's jump back.